Um, it, you know, just go for the shoulder. <coughs> Obviously, if it's like bare skin, you probably want to keep it very platonic. The idea of the Kino turn is purely functional. You're not actually trying to cop a feel or anything like that. You just need to get her attention, whether she's facing you or totally faced away. It is only to get her attention. So obviously, if she's completely bare skin, you you know might be a little bit more briefer, right? So because there is that kind of <coughs> thing that comes up. Yes. Um, how do you approach on the dance floor? Well, you gotta have a mad dance game. That helps. <laughs> Uh, the only guy I knew that I consistently was able to open on the dance floor was a hip hop dancer and a male model. Like he would go up there and he'd do like his little usher thing and like glide across the floor and do all, all this amazing stuff. And women would just scream like ah, like he was Justin Bieber or something like that, right? Um, I don't use dance floor to open. What I use it is to isolate a girl. So, so I'm in comfort, I'm, I'm sitting down with her, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, like, oh my god, I love this song, let's go. Like, so I take her, get her away from her friends. Great excuse to show sexual value. Again, and if you're like small like me, all right, um, you're not classically good looking, or you're Asian, whatever. Things that say you don't have like sexual value. Dancing is a good way to increase sexual value. I've had a lot of girls tell me like, they started getting turned on when they saw me dance. And I don't know a lot of good dance maneuvers. I just like, you know, I just know a couple. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's all. Just enough to look cool. So, isolate her. Pop her up, show some sexual value. And um, you can escalate. It's a really good way to escalate. Here's one little very pickup-y kind of sexual escalation tactic for you guys. I, I used to teach this all the time, but it's my dance floor hand job technique. You guys want to hear that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I actually invented this when I was in um, Denmark, Scandinavia. They, the Scandinavians love them some Asian men. It's like awesome. So, I'm like hooking up with, with this uh, Scandinavian couple. Like the sister, there's a sister and a brother. So I'm like making out with the sister, but I run to the brother, right? Because I got to get him on my side. So basically, I, I go to him. You know, I grab him, go to the bar, you know, open some girls, throw the girls onto him, run back to the girl, right? The guy thinks I'm like the fucking coolest American he's ever met. <laughs> so I'm like making out with the girl, take her to the dance floor, and here's what you do. So as you know, as you, you dance, dance fast for one song. Next song comes on, dance slow. Lower the energy, strong eye contact, okay? Take her hands, all right? Take her hands, lock it, put it around them. And then you are just going to slow dance. You're gonna pull her in, grind her grind. Slow dance. Strong eye contact means that you, it's us versus them. You're ignoring the entire room. People are gonna stare at you, right? Yeah. Even if the music's like fast. Doesn't fucking matter. Right. <laughs> You're not supposed to get a hand job in a club anyway. I mean, <laughs> right? Anyway, so slowing it down. What you're doing is you, you're making it so that she ignores the fact that people are staring at you. All right, just strong, intense eye contact, slow dance, cool. All right, then you're gonna go for the first kiss. You know, if it works, it works. You know, you might have to do some stuff to get to that point, mm -hmm. but go for the first kiss. See if you're gonna make out, pull out. Don't continue kissing, all right? Because if it feels good to you, you're doing it wrong. The idea is, it's gonna turn her on. And then I know like you guys are like, ooh, dance hand job. But the thing is, I'm doing it because it's gonna turn her on. It's called the, um sexual escalation uh, feedback loop, all right? That's a curious thing. A woman giving you a hand job turns her on, and that's what I want to do. It just coincidentally turns me on, too, all right? <laughs> so, pull out, eye gaze, slow dance. Now I'm gonna go back in. So, while I'm making out the second time, I'm gonna take one hand, I'm gonna move it all the way down, but I'm not gonna go for you know, the, the groin. I'm just gonna see if you move it all the way down past my pockets. Then I'll lift it back up, okay? Pull out, stop making out, eye contact, slow dancing. And then the next song, make out. Grab her other hand, put it on my chest, roll it down, and then have her start giving you a hand job, all right? So basically, this is what I'm doing to the sister, right? I was like co completely like accidentally invented this. So she's doing this to me, I'm like, okay, wait right here. Run back to their brother, he's like, you know, doing okay, but like open up more girls, throw the girls onto him, run back to the <laughs> sister, make it out. And like end of the night, the guy knows, the brother knows exactly what's going on. 
and just end the night he says, JT, just take good care of my sister. All right. <laughs> so that's a, a good way where I know I teach a lot of mogging, but you know, befriending is always better, better to start with. So anyways, there's the dance for hand job technique. Awesome, thank you. Oh. Yes. Oh, I wanted, to, I wanted to ask you, you said you take the hands, you put them all the way down past the park. My wingman taught me something exactly like this, and it sounds very, very similar. Uh, take the hands, you put them down past, past the park, pocket. something go First back, back up, back up, okay. pull out. Pull, oh, pull out, high knees, you know. And then the next song, do it again. Because the idea is, it's like the two steps forward, one step back. If you just keep on pressing forward, pressing forward, you're gonna do, um, you know, you're gonna come off with a cologne of desperation. You gotta be careful about that. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, yeah, I'd like to hear a little bit about uh, recovery. I mean, so sometimes I might uh, try to make a keynote contact in the red zone, like you said, they'll, they'll pull back. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, uh, I'm wondering when, well, what's a good move to recover from there, to, to rebuild her uh, readiness to be... Uh, <clears throat> so what you're seeing, you're in a situation where she, you try to keynote and then she like, like no? Kind of yeah, no. less interest, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Basically, he, he who loses his cool loses, okay? So when you're in that situation, just ignore it. Yeah. All right? And the idea is step back. Whatever you're doing, stop what you're doing, step back, BT spike. You guys know BT, buying temperature, yeah. make her laugh. You make her laugh, she's not thinking logically. She's not thinking, oh, you just try to do that. So stop what you're doing, step back, and then game forward. So <clears throat> I remember, uh, this is like out in Vegas, and my student was doing this kind of maneuver, right? He's sitting down with a girl, he's on the couch, and he's like doing this. Okay? And he's trying to pull the girl in. Like, literally, he's trying to pull her in. And he's like, no. And she kept, keeps on pulling out. So I, like, you know, I whisper into her, just put your arm down. You know, just talk to her. Make her laugh. Then try again, like, five, ten minutes. All right? So he does that. Starts talking to her. She opens up. You know, five, ten minutes later. Pulls back. Does this. And next thing you know, she's, like, leaning in, like, whispering into her, his ear. So... If you do like some sort of hand thing or whatever, she doesn't, just ignore it, all right? <laughs> Don't lose your cool, because he who loses his cool loses, all right? That makes sense? It does. Yeah, okay. I mean, you know, there, I'm sure there's like graceful ways of exiting or, or whatever, but generally speaking, I would just not pay attention to any kind of <laughs> failures, all right? Because if you, if, if you pay attention to it, it just makes it more obvious to her. Mm -hmm. right. No. no um, you put a thing out on YouTube uh, a while back. Since we're gonna go out to like bars and clubs, when um, when guys come in, you like turn the set. I thought that was like you grab the girl and like, punk them out, pretty much. All right. Are you talking about my King of the Hill Amog exercise? Yeah. 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 I, I think it was genius. Can Can you demo that? Sure. Sure. Um. But it's it starts off. Uh, BIT, B-I-T, it's an acronym, Befriend, Ignore, Tool. So when I'm coming in to a set, I, first I'll befriend, you know, then I'll ignore, and then I'll tool. And there are different ways to do each, right? But you don't go straight to tooling or like physical tooling, you, you gotta be subtle about it. What was on the YouTube was like this exercise, um, just to practice. I don't actually encourage you to do what's in the exercise in real life. Is just to practice with your buddy. Because there have been times when I've been aimed out the shit. Like, seriously. And it doesn't have anything to do with race. It has more to do with the fact that I'm a small guy. I remember I was in Australia. And this, like, happened several occasions. Like, I had this girl that was kind of helping out in the boot camp. She's, like, tall, blonde, very pretty. Um, and I'm also, like, taking her home to my room. And, like, my students, you know, are there. And we get out of the cab, it's like 2.30, whatever, at King's Cross. Get out of the cab, and we're like holy hand, me and my girl, we're like holy hand. And, and like, these Aussies just come in to amog me. Like, straight out of the cab, like fuck, okay. You know, kind of body blocked them out. So go into the hotel lobby, all right? It's these sliding doors. So I'm about to walk in, and like these biker Aussies, like, I'm holding her hand, like, they literally try to run in between me and the hand. You guys know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. They literally just yeah. try to break through. I'm like, <laughs> he's like, uh uh. It's like, what's that game called? Uh, Red Rover? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rover. like, well, you know, push him out. And in the lobby, while I'm waiting for the elevator, more guys come in. 
like in like going up the elevator. I remember it was like three guys, one girl, and they start talking to my girl. I'm like, fuck it. So I just let go. I start gaming their girl. And then they're like all freaked out and they, they left. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, if you're not getting a log, it's either because you're physically big enough to deter them, or your girl's not worth it. I'm sorry, like. Seriously, any time when I've been like a seriously attractive girl, I get a mug like left and right. So that's why we practice it. Um, here's a really good. Can I borrow? Of course. Yeah. yeah.